going on, guys? Don't mind me and my buddy Rusty. We're just kind of chilling here on the sidewalk as the passerbys come by. And Rusty smokes his cigar, and I've had enough of that smoking, so it's time to enter the Jacob residence. Let's see what's going on. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. It's actually the Henry residence. Jacob's the dude, though. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Time to take a look around, boys. Police boys. I guess we'll pick up this paper here. Family burnt to death. Oh no! Time to find some clues, though. Big Band America. That is not a clue. Let's investigate around. See what we got going on. This place has been torn to bits. A key. Optimistic call. All right, well, sometimes keys are valuable. Not everyone just leaves keys lying around. Anything in here? Uh oh, what's this? Click it. I feel the vibration. A shoe. A high heeled shoe. Size nines. Above average for a lady. Strange. Either giant woman or man wearing woman's shoes. Either way, kind of creepy. Check out the broken, whoa, dirty dishes, a lot of them. Anything in this bowl? I'm not sure it means much either, Cole. About the window, uh oh. More Los Diablos, everyone was buying this, they must be making bank, everyone in Hollywood. Everyone in LA is, has that, uh oh. Shattered glass, broken window. Burglar used a pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a thirty dollar suit. You got another thing coming, Buster. A thirty dollar suit. That's quite the expensive suit back in 1940. I'm, I'm guessing. Very. Oh, uh, note. Hmm. Selene and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Um, I'm. I'm seeing evidence still weighs against it being a husband. But Jacob could give us something to go on. I'm pretty sure that there's something cursed about the number two. Everyone has been in apartment two in the One entire my game. If drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Not much help. I'm gonna go talk to the neighbors. Ooh, that sounds fun. I like being Mr. Homicide here. Get Those away. are homicide, traffic. Badge number 564. Go we'll just do a little bit more of a look around here. Make sure there's nothing in the, the library study room. A pair of glasses. Goggles. Flying goggles, maybe. Junk. Well, okay. Or swimming goggles or something. I don't even know. A piano. Just want to make sure we have all the clues, Cole. Don't tell me junk. Another shoe. Okay, we're not looking at that. We'll look at the ring box. Tiffany, the rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Hmm. I see. Tell us about flying. Let's look at this picture. A regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. Yep, there's the ring that Mr. Uh, the dude back from the club bought her. Comb. I don't think so. It's like a comb. I think that's everything. All right. Yep. There's the queue. Got everything. Time to go canvas the neighborhood. Talk to the neighbors. Sell some Girl Scout cookies, or interrogate some people. One or the other. Um. I'm guessing they're out back. Maybe. Let's just be be safe. Is there anything else in this room? It makes me nervous. The closet. She's got a lot of shoes. Except for those weird giant ones, and a lot of alcohol, like all over the freaking house. Can you control yourself, Miss Celine Henry? Apparently not. All right. Neighbor time. 
Time to go talk to our friendly neighbors. Bert and Ernie, or whoever we got going on over here. Hey, neighbor man. Neighbor woman, I mean. What's up? I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Mrs. Horgan! Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Hmm. Can I follow you, or that'd be creepy? Can I go talk to you about more? You sit, I'll talk. She thinks Jacob's a poor guy. Maybe Celine is really nasty. Well, can we talk anymore? Just. Oh, okay. Sorry. Just gives me some time to myself. Please. Okay, I'm, I apologize. Whoa, Cole, practicing that high jump hurdles. Any other... Someone's like a knocking. Any other neighbors? Neighbors, anybody else see anything over here? Rusty's probably ready to go. I would like to talk to some more neighbors. Open up, please. Okay, or not. Can you please open? Okay. Fine, don't answer me, but I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Was it gold door handle, so I figured I could talk to people. We're getting lots of save games here in the bottom right hand corner. I have no idea why. Um but uh apparently there's nobody home there. And uh, I guess we should go back and talk to Good boy, Rusty, and see if he has any in new info for us after... Cause didn't he make a call? Rusty, where are you at? My man. You just chilling? What's going on? Rusty! Did we go in this room before? Yeah, we did. Cole kind of walks a little bit silly. Like, his walking, like, turns kind of on a weird angle. Rusty, what do you think? Are we out of here? Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Okay. Okay. I guess time to go. Take it to Jacob Henry's apartment. He rented it because he's having so many problems. How far away is this bad boy? There's a gun store. Or that's, I mean, that's the crime scene. I keep thinking it's a gun store. Sorry, guys. If you see a picture of a gun, you're like, dude, gun store. Which way? Take the next left. All right. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, with my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, it's probably deserved it. Skipper says bring him in. Keep the hacks off the back. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. You tell him, Cole. Cole, Cole's a good guy. Make a right. Cole is a good guy. He knows what's going on. And I don't appreciate these people trying to tell us otherwise. That's rude. And you almost hit me in the back of the car. This house is up on the top of this hill here. I guess we can go make a turn. Apparently we can't. Um, okay, we'll just park right here. It's a silly place to park, but that's where we're parking. Go uh, over to the apartment building. And enter very awkwardly from the back. But we'll enter nonetheless. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky policeman. Doing police work. Kind of a weird apartment complex here. 
Okay. Do as you say. Number four. Number three. And we have a gun, apparently. I think this guy's gonna try to run. They say we can bring him into the station, so I guess we're gonna have to make a capture here. I don't think we've really, really done one of those yet. I guess we'll chase him down. Number two. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You come in here, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I... I... This crime gets weirder and weirder. He doesn't even know what's going on. Do some investigating, guys. Hmm. Move the pencil. I don't know what this does. It looks like there could be something there, so we can shade this in, maybe. Like an imprint? Ooh. You think the atmosphere is thick and weird? This is, uh, this is quite the cool mechanic, like watching the pencil do that. Sweetness. Thanks for the offer. I need you to do something about my wife. <gasps> the biggest problem there is is what to do about the old lady. Hmm. That's not good for Mr. Jacob. Not a good sign at all. Probably nothing back in this corner. I don't know what the heck he wrote that into. That's pretty crazy. Dangerous note. Baseball bat. Why you got this? Seems irrelevant. Well, I don't know. To me, if I found a giant baseball bat laying on the ground, I would think that's not... I think that's pretty pressing, actually. But okay. A suitcase packed. Nicely set up here. Size are your shoes. Size 11s. Hmm. What's... What size were the, uh... The ones at the scene were worse. Eight, right? And then we have the size nine shoe. Woman's shoe. And then we have the size 11 shoe. So many shoes! But right now, I have to go run and pick up my brother. My little brother from baseball practice. So we're going to wrap this episode up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll make sure to bring you episode 2-0 of the Big 20 very soon. Have a fantastic day. Hit that like button if you'd be so kind. And until next time, we will see you later.